Uh, today we're going to be learning how to use the inverted fluorescence mic uh, microscope. Uh, first thing to do is remove the dust cover. Just carefully lift that off and uh, check it out. All right. Uh, next thing is to uh, start up the microscope uh, by hitting the power button located on the left hand side here. It's just a little white button. Push that in. Um, next we'll turn on the camera which is located on the left hand side and it's just a switch that we're going to press down. Uh, and third, last power button for a while, uh, is this power supply to the microscope uh, which controls the lighting. Okay, uh, so now that we have lighting, um, we can start to uh, focus on an image. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, adjust the light path of the microscope uh, through the optical lenses here by adjusting this dial here uh, until it reads I and it'll click uh, when it's in place. Uh, before we get started with imaging, I'm going to make sure that all of my neutral density filters are on the outmost position. Uh, these, per, uh, these guys are um, filters that prevent light from coming through uh, without adjusting a dial. And the dial to adjust the lighting is right here on the left hand side, right under the power button. Uh, to get my uh, specimen here, I'll just use a slide, uh, in place, I'm going to put it in the center of the stage and adjust the stage position by rotating the wand here. Uh, there's a top portion and a bottom portion. The top hand side adjusted uh, the Y, uh, the y uh, direction and the bottom portion adjusts the x direction on the stage. Uh, so you'll see uh, the stage moving up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's look at what we have. I'm going to adjust the lighting so it's not blinding me. Um, and then use the uh, coarse and fine adjustments to uh, focus on our image, starting with the course, of course. Uh, <laughs> um, right now I'm in a 10x objective. The objectives are underneath the stage here, and I just rotate to the objective I want uh, by turning this guy around. Uh, and you'll feel them click into place when they're in the right position. So let's get this situated. Great, that looks uh, focused. Um, so now let's open up the software so we can take an image. Uh, so I'm going to go to my desktop and click on the NIS elements, uh, the top guy right here. Let it load. Um, if the camera's not on, you'll get an error message there. So make sure that you have everything set up there. Um, now we're going to turn on the live feed by pressing the uh, little play button up in the top left hand corner. And we'll get a black screen because right now we have the light path running through the objective lenses here. So we're going to adjust uh, the port uh, to run through the left-hand port, which is where our camera is located. So it basically, we just switch from I to the L, which is, stands for left. Um, which Now you'll see our screen has changed to a white screen, and we're going to adjust the auto exposure here. Uh, which is located in the right hand side uh, in our sidebar here uh, and now the software has adjusted uh, the intensity for us. Um, let's see. To capture an image 
uh, we click on this camera icon up in the left hand corner and uh, that'll freeze the image and uh, kind of uh, get it ready for us to save. To save it, we'll go to File, Save As, um, and it'll save as a JP, uh, JP2 uh, file by default. Um, anyway. So let's get out of that and close that by hitting the X in the right hand corner. No. Uh, and now we're going to go back to live feed. Um, so now we've taken a bright field image. Right now I'm just running regular light through this microscope. Uh, to turn on the fluorescence, if we want to take a fluorescence uh, image, we're going to turn down the brightness of the regular light by turning down the dial of, uh, on the left hand side under the power button and then go up to our uh, fluorescence power supply and hit the switch here. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's where it is. Uh, it's important that uh, you let this guy uh, warm up for a little bit before you use him. Um, and also don't uh, turn him off right away. If you're going to use him, uh, if you turn him on, make sure that you leave it on for at least five minutes. Uh, so you don't damage the bulb. Don't turn it off right away. Um, to adjust uh, how the fluorescence uh, enters the microscope, right, it's going to run through this fiber optic cable here uh, into here. And uh, essentially, we can shutter whether or not the fluorescence is. Uh, making its way to our specimen by opening and closing this valve, uh, this dial here. Um, right now it's closed. That's the open position. Uh, to change the filter block, um, we're, there's a kind of hard to find wheel uh, that we can switch from one filter block to another. Um, and once we're sure which filter block we're using, uh, we'll let you know uh, which number that's associated with. Um, finally, just uh, to clarify, it's important that when we have a specimen on our stage and we're not actively viewing it, uh, that we close this uh, shutter because otherwise our specimen will be flooded with uh, the fluorescent light and we'll get photo photo be, uh, bleaching effects, which uh, can damage the cells and damage the dye, so we don't get good pictures. So, um, anyway, I think that's all for now. Uh, when you close up the microscope, close out of the software, uh, kind of run through these uh, power buttons in reverse, uh, and make sure to always put the uh, dust cover back on the microscope. Thanks, and I'll see you in lab.